Kenwood TL922A 10 meter mod without taking the band selector switch out. So here's a close up on the band selector switch from the top. There has to be a bridge installed between here and there. Right there, this, this contact here that's not on there right now has to be connected with this contact. So um, I've seen on many um, other YouTube videos that people actually taking the whole band selector switch out and uh, that's not necessary. Um, all it takes is basically to turn the um, load knob all the way counterclockwise that will expose the band selector switch and the contacts that have to be bridged as you can see here on the picture so there you go this is um, the load capacitor or the load knob and um, it will expose the band selector switch it's a little bit down there it's a little bit tricky to get in with a soldering iron but it can be done as I did so yes, there's no need for taking this um, band selector switch off. So here's what I did. I tried to film as I was soldering it in it, but um, from the way the camera was set, um, it, it wasn't possible. So, But here's the result. I've got this wire from here to there now. Now I'm not going to win any beauty contest with this one. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm old. My my fingers are a little bit shaky, but it's on there. It makes contact. That's all I wanted. And I put some uh, wire on there. That's about as thick as I could possibly get in there. So I uh, measured continuity, and it seems to be all good. Um, it's like I said, it's on there. And uh, here's a different angle. Um, to the lower right, you can see it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to desolder nothing. Because if you take that band selector switch off, there's like five or six uh, contacts you have to desolder. And I don't see that being lots of fun. Um, yes, I got all this, this instruction from uh, the Kenwood manual itself, where they clearly state what to do. and. Um, there's no mention of taking the band selector switch off. Now, if you have problems with the band selector switch and you want to replace it, which apparently there is, there can be problems, uh, then go ahead, of course, do it. And uh, if the 10 meter mod hasn't been done, that would be the time to do it. Yeah, here's a little close up on the tubes. Yeah, so far this amplifier has been working great. Oh yeah, so here's, uh, the other part you have to do, you have to add those two little capacitors and they're being connected to the two um, barrels there and are just simply connected to ground. There's also a couple of cables that have to be reconnected on a different spot. I'm not going to get into this because there's uh, some other YouTubers, they already have this plenty covered, but this is the easy part. The amplifier has to be flipped upside down, of course, for that, because it's in the bottom of the unit. So, yeah, everything is done. Uh, as far as I know, I own this amplifier now for about three months. It's not giving me any troubles at all. I bought it used. And, um, yeah, it's in great condition. So here's a, here it is all back together. And... Um, Oh yeah, another thing is the band selector switch on my amplifier already had this uh, stop screw taken out, so I could already dial it to the, well, 10 meter position, like this would be here. Of course, there's nothing marked on the amp because, well, that's just how they come. But this is the 10 meter position now. So now let's do some output test. I already have the amplifier dialed in, um, hooked up on a dummy load on the 10 meter band and uh, everything set to CW, so I get the dead key. 100% output on my radio, which is about 100 watts on a radio. And um, yeah, 
10 meter band it's pushing about a thousand and fifty watts that's that's normal that's what you can expect on a dead key on those amps so it's not overdriven really that's just perfectly normal uh, maybe go may go a little bit higher uh, modulating on um, ssb but that's not the point this is really just a pure output on cw setting don't forget to set the um, amplifier also on cw if you do that uh, and again this is going into a dummy load so nobody be worried about that i disrupt any conversations okay yeah so this is all done uh, i did already some real tests and it's working great so again um do not take the band selector switch off out of this thing that's too much work that's all i have to say thank you for watching